2019 is gonna be the year of the weird phone. I think these weird smartphones are really cool. They might be ridiculous or really ugly or completely crazy. This is how we know what people like, or at least this is how smartphone makers know what people like. I think right now, uh, a lot of people are suffering from smartphone design fatigue, but it seems like 2019 is the year that the phone makers have decided to get together and just do something about the regular smartphone slab. There are the big smartphone makers like Apple and Samsung, and then there are the smaller phone makers like OnePlus, Meizu, or Vivo. The big guys, they kind of tend to play it safe. And safe is good, safe is comfortable. Then the little guys, they kind of go crazy with stuff. The first thing that comes to mind is LG's new phone. Now it looks perfectly normal on the outside. Then you go and find out what it can do to unlock the phone. It uses VR, not uh, virtual reality, vein recognition. With vein recognition, the LG G8 wants to recognize the veins on the palm of your hand to unlock the phone. The G8 can do something else that's pretty weird. It's actually like kind of an old concept where you use gestures. You can like twist a sort of a virtual knob for volume, for example, or you sort of swipe left or right for your music or switching between apps. Another much, much weirder phone is this Nubia wrist phone. There's kind of a debate going on whether it's a smartphone or a smart watch. The design is totally out of this world. It has a much larger, longer screen um, than a typical smart watch. Um, it has a camera. It has a camera that is front facing and I believe five megapixels. Probably only good for taking selfies like this. I can't imagine taking a photo of landscape like this. Really odd, really uncomfortable. And the Nubia also runs on Android Wear, which is a smartwatch operating system. Now let's talk about the Energizer. Power Max K18 Pop. It is a huge, thick phone with an 18,000 milliamp hour battery. Just to put that into perspective, most phones will have about 3,000, maybe even 4,000 milliamp hour batteries. Energizer says that the K18 Pop will get about 50 days of battery life on standby, so it's not with daily usage. Apart from its massive size, the Energizer phone is actually kind of looks like a normal phone. It runs Android. It even has, I think, a triple lens camera system on the back. And so in all respects, it's actually just a normal smartphone that's about the width of three iPhones. Let's talk about the Nokia PureView 9. So this phone has five camera lenses on the back that count that five versus the three that we're just getting used to. The Nokia PureView 9 is supposedly meant to absorb 10 times more light than the standard camera. When you take a photo with the Nokia PureView 9, all the five lenses are activated and sort of combined together to make a super photo, I guess. Yeah, we have to wait and see uh, to use the Nokia PureView 9 ourselves to see if maybe, you know, five camera lenses are indeed better than one. So there's a new trend with smartphones, at least with Samsung smartphones, which has this oval pill-shaped sort of hole punch for the selfie cameras. And honestly, I quite like it. I mean, compared to a notch, it's really actually kind of better. It's not as distracting, has no interruptions around it or anything like that. The camera is off-center on the Galaxy S10 and it does make for that slight angle on your face. Another big trend in phones is now foldable phones. We have different designs from Samsung, which sort of opens up like a book. The Huawei Mate X, that opens up like a reversible book where the screen is on the outside of the phone. Thing is about the foldable phone so far is the price tag that is just crazy. It's just nuts. We're gonna get this thing repaired. We're gonna get its battery changed. It's all in the air right now. I do think the only thing that's gonna stick is gonna be the foldable phone. It's kind of a novelty-ish right now, but give it time and I think it could be something really, really cool. Do you really need all this innovation and folding phones and pop out selfie cameras? No, you don't need it, but you want it. I know that. <laughs> you guys ask for new and crazy stuff every year on the smartphone. It's kind of odd eh, that we're sort of, instead of going more diminutive and thinner and slimmer and lighter, we're actually going to just bigger and larger and thicker and flipper. <laughs> That's just where the innovation is sort of, sort of leading phone makers. And inevitably, these things will be very strange. There'll be some weird new stuff coming out with designs and features and functionality. At the same time, these weird things will actually appear normal to the youngest generation that's sort of born into it. You know, my kids are gonna think smartphones are totally normal. In fact, they might think smartphones are kind of old because they're gonna be using a weird wristwatch at some time. 